Yep, and I have uh, terrific coffee. And uh, you too, sir. You were there uh, right into the night, along with a couple of our other uh, members on the committee. Uh, we have some work to do here today, and uh, it's good to be with all of you. I want to echo uh, Mr. DeFazio's in thanking uh, you, Mr. Chairman, and my colleague, Duncan Hunter, uh, the chairman of the Coast Guard Mer uh, Time Subcommittee. Uh, it's good to be here. Let's get this thing done. Uh, it's fitting and appropriate. <clears throat> At the same week, the Armed Services Committee is marking up the National Defense Authorization Act until 5 o'clock this morning, to be exact. Uh, this committee is also taking up uh, the Coast Guard, the fifth military service branch. I want to acknowledge and thank uh, Chairman Hunter for being very open and collaborative in the process we've engaged in throughout the development of the legislation. It's a pleasure to work with uh, Chairman Hunter and the uh, majority staff. It's even a greater pleasure to work with the minority staff. You know, they're close. Um, and, and we uh, made some improvements to the proposals along the way. Uh, we're going to expand the uh, providing the Coast Guard with uh, some certainty over the next two years and also create greater opportunities for the U.S. maritime industry. Uh, I'm particularly pleased this legislation will provide stability in the budget. Erratic budgets and perpetual continuing resolutions have had a very deleterious effect on the Coast Guard, most notably impacting the Coast Guard's ability to keep pace with its long-term program to recapitalize its aging fleet of surface and air assets. The authorizing funding levels in the bill, especially for the acquisition, construction, and improvement account, is much better. Uh, approximating the funding levels the Coast Guard says it needs to maintain its acquisition temple, with one exception, the icebreaker, which Mr. DeFazio talked about a moment ago. I'm optimistic that uh, all of this will send a strong signal to our colleagues on the Appropriations Committee to do better by the Post Guard, Coast Guard. I'm also supportive of the new requirements in the bill to initiate long-term capital planning uh, and also to require better assessments of mission performance metrics authorizing new pilot programs to test new communications and vessel management systems. Uh, these provisions will all strengthen the Coast Guard's performance. The bill also contains provisions important to our seafarers and the maritime industry, provisions that would harmonize the renewal of the different mariner credentials and allow greater flexibility for mariners' medical certifications. It should be much more convenient for America's mariners. The bill also further advances my very strong interest in using the nascent U.S. LNG export trade, which will actually begin sometime late this fall, as a springboard to provide new economic opportunities for our shipyards and merchant marine to grow and to fly the U.S. flag. Very simply put, if we're going to export one of our great national assets, natural gas, then we ought to also use that uh, export to enhance another extremely important national strategic asset, which is our merchant marine, could lead to the construction of several hundred ships in our shipyards, both for the Jones trade as well as for the international trade. Uh, this legislation would require the Secretary of Transportation to develop guidelines to implement a program to promote the use of the U.S. flag vessels and U.S. seafarers in the LNG trade. It also represents an important step forward. And I urge the members to uh, take a strong look at this and to join in uh, building uh, up our merchant marine from the current less than 100 to maybe a couple hundred or even a few hundred. Mr. Chairman, in closing, this legislation is balanced, it's responsible, it's forward thinking. It tends to the needs of our Coast Guard and makes helpful changes to address issues and concerns raised by the maritime stakeholders. I'm proud to be an original co-sponsor, and I urge members to support the legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank and you, Mr. Chairman.